guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. I've heard some rumors that Home Goods has their Halloween stuff and their fall stuff out. So we're gonna go check it out, go see what they have. This is my first video back, like actually filming a recent updated video. I'm still gonna have some like catch up videos sprinkled in, but I wanted to go do a new video with you guys today. So we're gonna head into Home Goods. Hopefully they have a bunch of fall and Halloween stuff to check out because I don't know about you, but I am ready for summer to be over and for fall and Halloween to start and that season to start because it's my favorite time of year. If you guys been around here anytime at all, you know I'm obsessed with fall. You know I'm obsessed with all things Halloween. So we're gonna go in. I haven't been here since, oh God, like months ago. I don't even know when the last time I was here. So they had no Halloween or fall stuff out the last time I was here. So I'm fingers crossed that they have a whole bunch right now because I am so excited to get shopping and to see what new stuff they have. I even put these little witch earrings on today. I like rarely ever wear earrings, but I felt like getting into the Halloween, I said that really weird, Halloween and fall spirit. So we're gonna go into Home Goods. We're gonna go shopping, see what we can find. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're new. If you like shopping videos, if you like mom life videos, if you like home videos, if you like all kinds of things, hauls, all of that, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in following along and let's get shopping. We're in Home Goods now and they do have some Halloween things, so I'm super excited. We're gonna jump in. I'm gonna show you as much as I can. This is a nice big aisle that they have full of Halloween stuff. Oh my goodness, look at this adorable ghost mug. That's so cute. That would look really cute on my coffee bar. Should we see what this little guy does? Let's see. Press here. My kids would love that thing, 100%. This little guy looks real fun. Oh, look at the three stacked ghosts. They're adorable as well. This is really cool. It's got like, oh, it's got like a little witch potion and like a spell book with a little skull. I really like that. You know, I like anything that says Hocus Pocus on it, so my eyes gravitate towards that. And look at this really cool book of spells, and I think it's like a box. Yeah, so it's like a hidden storage box, so these are always really cool to decorate with. And then you can store some things in there if you need to. But they have a whole bunch of different types of those like little book storage boxes. They have some glam skulls, which I think are really cool. And like, look at this one back here. It's got like glitter and roses and all kinds of stuff. This is a really cool candle auburn back here. It's got the three skulls and like the big skull in the middle. Have you heard? There's even more to explore on the Home Goods app. Well, look how cute this haunted house is. I think it might light up. Let's see if we hit the button, what happens? Oh yeah, so the windows light up. I love that. I got a haunted house um, similar kind of to this from Target last year and I'm obsessed with it. So Target has some really cute ones as well. They have a whole bunch of these press me little animated characters. I am not going to be obnoxious and press all of them because I feel like some people might get annoyed. But they look at these fancy witches. Ooh, look at her with her purple lipstick. Oh my goodness, my daughter would love that lipstick color. But they are really cool. Look at these awesome bottles of potion. They are really neat. I've never seen anything like that before. I really like this witch's brew cauldron. It's really cute. It kind of reminds me of something Ray Dunn. I'm not sure if it is Ray Dunn. It is not, but it reminds me of a Ray Dunn thing. But I love witches and 
hocus pocus and all that kind of stuff. Look at these crazy skeletons. <laughs> this one has princess crowns on them. Oh my goodness. They're like glam skeletons with the glitter and the pearls. I think they're like the really tall ones are folded up right now. So they are $40 if you're interested in them. I see a black and a gold one. They're pretty cool. Here's this little skeleton guy as well. I think he might light up in his eyes. That's pretty cool. Do you guys see this giant cat, this black cat? I think it is a candy dish. It's got like a hole in the top where you can put candy. That is really cool. I also really like this three-tiered skull statue. He's pretty cool. I'm sure he lights up or something as well. He looks like he's got some light bulbs in his eyes. And that would definitely be a statement piece for Halloween. Here's another really cute haunted house. It kind of looks like a gingerbread house. It looks like it's made out of cookies, but it's not. It's kind of like a clay material, but that's really pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at these adorable little ghost jars. They are so cute. I love them so much. They would be really cute for like a coffee bar or something. You can put like your little sugar packets in there or something. I'm afraid to open it because I don't want to break it, but they're really cute. Look at this gem I just found. This is amazing. It's two skeletons holding a little coffin, which you can put like candy or like maybe a plate in or something like that. I think it's metal. Yeah, it's like a tin metal. It's $129.99, but how cool is that? I have never seen that before here. That is, must be new for the season because I do come here every year and I've never seen anything like that. I really like that, it's super cool. I also really like this traditional Happy Halloween sign. I like that it's just the traditional orange and black colors. I think that's really cool and it's kind of like a wood sign. I really like that. And look at this cute little guy saying boo, holding up his little sign. I like him a lot too. There's so many things here that I want to buy. <laughs> so I'm trying to be good and not buy too much stuff today because Halloween is still a few months away. Look at these really cool signs. They like light up. They say Happy Halloween. There's a black and an orange one. Let's see how much this crap is. It is, oh, I don't know. Let's see if we can find a price. They are $25.99. That's not bad, actually. It's a really nice sign. I just don't know where I would put it on my wall, but I do really like that. And let's see what's this sign back here. This says, welcome to our sweet haunted home with the little ghost. That's really cute too. Let's see if we can see how it lights up. Let's try, touch the button. See, it like has the lights around it. I'm trying to show you, but the little light up button isn't long enough for me to kind of back up and show you guys but I do like that a lot. They have another one here that says the witch is, or er, witch this way, something like that. Wicked witch this way, I think it says. I don't know, it's really cute though. I've never seen them before either. They have some really cute cups. These plastic cups are great for like my kids and stuff. They can't break them and they're reusable, but they're festive. My kids love things like this. So they're only $5.99 and you get, a set of 12, that's a really good deal. So if you're throwing like a little Halloween party for your kids or something like that, that's always a nice thing to get. Over here on this end cap, they have some fall items. They have a bunch of pumpkins, fall pumpkins, like all these glass pumpkins are really pretty if you like to decorate with glass. I feel like I have a couple glass pumpkins, but I'm always afraid to put them out because I feel like my kids who are six and three will break them. But they also have these cute little pumpkin couple look at the man and the woman oh my god they're absolutely adorable look at her little witch hat she's adorable i love her so much and look at the guy he has his little suspenders on i love it and they have some more pumpkins down here oh look at that it's got like a snake wrapped around going through his eyeball Ooh, that's pretty cool though oh it's back here look at this tray it's like some skeletons holding up this little tray that's pretty cool they also have a lot of really cute pillows i really like the ghost here that says boo 
and I love this one back here. I saw this in the other aisle. Look how cute that is. I might have to buy that. I might have to buy two of them to put on my little throw chairs. I love them, they're so cute. They also have these little candy dishes. I bought a really big mummy one last year, which was super cute, but this is a little pumpkin girl. And then they have this one that's a little bit bigger. The top inside are hollow. Oh, and they also have a zombie. That one's really cool. But you can put candy in the top of them, which I really like. So they're functional, but they're also a good Halloween decor item. Look at this little ghost Minnie Mouse cup. She is so cute. I love that so much. Oh, I also really like that Happy Halloween sign with the ghost. The ghosts are so cute. Look at the baby one with the mom. The baby one's holding the little pumpkin. It's adorable. But see what I mean? Like they're like little bowls. Here's one that you can kind of see the top of. It's a smaller one, but it has like a little candy bowl. This one is only $10, which I think is a really good price for that. They have a bunch of candle holders too, which I really like. If you want to decorate your mantle with some candle holders, they have a gold one back there as well, which is really pretty. I really like this snow globe with the two skeletons in there. It's got a little graveyard scene and a pumpkin. That's really cute. Look at this adorable little vampire candy corn. <laughs> that is like a little plush candy corn, which is nice when you have kids. That way you don't have to worry about them breaking anything, but it's a cute way to decorate as well. And I really like these tray baskets. There's like a two tiered and a three tiered spider web tray basket. They would be really cute for like a fruit basket or something during the Halloween time. Or you can even use them like if you're having a Halloween party, put like party favors or treats or just anything that you want to use it for in there. There's the big cat again, the big cat candy bowl. I really like him. Look at this candle holder. It's like a hand, a skeleton hand, and it has like a little spot where you can put like a tea light or something. I haven't seen that before. Oh, look at this with the little bat, the pumpkin, and then the mummy. I really like that. And again, it's a plush one, so your kids can't break it, which is always something that I think of because my kids tend to break a lot of things. Oh, look, they have some more candy dishes here. This is a candy dish. They have a skeleton one. He's holding a little pumpkin basket. It's so cute. And then see, you can put your candy in there. Here's an up close look of the zombie. And then there's the head where you put the candy and then there's the pumpkin as well. Down here, they have some more spell books, which are really fun to decorate with. I really wish I was able to find like the Hocus Pocus spell book. I wish they would make a box that looked like that. That would be really fun to decorate with. But I've never actually seen that. So if you guys have seen something like that, please let me know because it's definitely something I would be interested in. Oh, look at this cute little witch sign. I feel like you can put candy in this like basket part, but it says be witch and the little witch legs are up there. And here are some more haunted house things that look like gingerbread houses. They're really pretty. Look at the details on them. Like it looks like it's got little candy corn on the roof and it looks like icing. They're really pretty and really cute. I feel like my kids would think they were candy and try to eat them. They also have this really cute Mickey and Minnie Halloween like Disney um, cookie jar, which I think is really fun. And here are some more signs. I think I've seen this one before, the one that says spooky with the spiders on it. I do really like that. I feel like if I touch the other ones to try to see what's underneath, I'm gonna drop them all out. Look at that broom parking sign with the three brooms. I love that so much. I almost missed that. But that's like a heavy duty wood Wood thing. I can't see how much it is because it's kind of in the center of everything, but I really like that. Over here, it looks like they have a whole bunch of Disney Halloween items. So they have that really cute Mickey Mouse um, cookie jar back there. I love that so much. And then, of course, they have the Nightmare Before Christmas cups and little Jack Skeleton mug right there. They also have the Jack and Sally salt and pepper shakers, 
which I think I've seen like every year now. And then they have that little cookie jar back there and they also have a Jack Skeleton cookie jar. I really like this mixing bowl with all of the little skeletons dancing on it. <laughs> That's really fun. I love different kinds of mixing bowls. It's only $10. I would buy it, but I feel like I have an over collection of mixing bowls and I already have no space for them. Here's those little ghost jars again that we saw earlier, which I really, really like. I think they're really cute. They would be really cute, like I said before, for a coffee's bar or something like that. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's a little witch cauldron and it says it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus on there. It is $14.99. That would make a really cute candle holder or a candy jar. There's our Minnie Mouse ghost again. I feel like HomeGoods always has a really good selection of um, dishcloths and towels and things like that. This is like a Halloween set of napkins, which is really fun. I always like their little placemats too. This is like a beaded placemat. It's super pretty. You can put that in the middle of like your living room table and put a candle in the middle of it. And I feel like that would be a really cute thing for Halloween time. It's only $10. I actually might do that. I don't know if my kids would touch it, but that's really cute. So I'm gonna put that in my cart and we'll see about it. I feel like when you see something here, you have to grab it. Otherwise it will sell out quickly. Ooh, look at all these fun dish towels. I don't know about you, but I'm a sucker for dish towels. I feel like I buy new ones every year. I really like this one with the boo and the broomstick. That's really cute. But I love dish towels and they always have such a great selection here. Ooh, this one's really pretty as well. I really like the bow on that pumpkin and I like how it says boo, but it uses the ghost and the jack-o'-lantern with it. This is a four piece kitchen towel set. Oh, it comes with little oven mitts and stuff as well. I do really like that. Let's see how much it is. Let's see if we can get to the tag. $12.99, that's not bad for a four piece set. And I do really like this dish towel. I feel like I could even use that in my bathroom and it would work. They have a couple of those four piece sets. They have this one, the trick or treat, and it's got the other dish towel and it's got the pot holders with it. Let's see if they have any more. I feel like they might be the only two. This boo one is another four piece set as well. It says the boo and then it has the dish towel and then the pot holders as well. I feel like that's such a good deal, especially if you wanna replace your pot holders for Halloween time. I don't know if I'm at that level yet though. But you guys know I do love a good apron, so I am at that level. I have aprons for every holiday, every season, every occasion, and they have some cute ones here. They have this one with black cats on it. They have this one with the ghosts that say boo on it, which is really cute. They have this skeleton skull one on it and these pumpkins that say boo. And then here's another one with the skeletons dancing. Oh, and then here's the last one I see over here. It's skeletons and it has like flowers and stuff. That's really pretty. They even have a whole bunch of Halloween things for your pets. They have so many dog toys to choose from. They even have some costumes. Like, look at this. It's like a little doggy dinosaur costume. It's a T-Rex. That is hilarious. Look at that little pup. I don't know. My dogs would not be happy if I dressed them up in that. Sometimes I put a little Halloween shirt on them, but that makes them mad enough. But look at all these cute little Halloween squeaker toys. Here's some more over here. All different kinds of Halloween toys. Oh, look at this cute little spider with the long legs. I feel like my dogs would love that, playing tug of war with that little spider. You know we have to smell some candles. This DW apple cider candle. Oh my God, that smells incredible. It smells like fall in a jar. It's $12.99. It is a really big candle actually for $12.99. I really like that a lot. I don't think I've ever had a DW candle before, but I do watch Kim from the Wads and she loves DW candles and she swears by them. So I might have to get one to try. Um, it smells really good just smelling it right here and sniffing it in the store, but I would love to try it at home and actually smell it. But I was actually surprised. I'm not seeing too many fall scents quite yet. They seem to have a whole bunch of like summer scents still out here. Like look at all of these summer scents and I don't know about you, but I'm over summer. I want all of the fall cozy smells. 
Okay, wait, here. Here we found a cinnamon pumpkin. Let's try if we can open it with one hand. Let's try to smell this one. Oh my goodness, that does smell really good too. Let's see, this one is $6.99. That's a good price for that as well, and that smells really good. But I really like that DW one. I feel like that's all the fall candles I am seeing right now. This one tricked me. I thought it was gonna be a fall one because it was orange, but nope, it's tropical vibes, and I don't want tropical vibes. I want fall vibes right now. Is apple honey butter a fall scent? I don't really know. I mean, it's got apples, so I guess so, but that smells really good as well. I'm also looking for like a fall like room spray for my bathroom. I always like to buy a new one at Home Goods every year, or sometimes Marshalls has them. Here are a few more fall items that I found up by the front register. A whole bunch of cute little pumpkins. And a random fish, <laughs> if that's your style. Oh, look at the cool rainbow pumpkin. My daughter would love that for her bedroom. This is cool. It's like an extra large cookie cutter. I always love their little treat bags that they have here. These are great little bags if you're giving out treats to like your kids who go to school or something or just like friends in the neighborhood. If you want to do like a little boo bag, get a whole bunch of these. If you get a set of 13 bags for $5.99, you can go to the Dollar Tree and get like a bunch of cute little like Halloween themed candy and like little like party favors and stuff and put them in here and give them out to your neighbors. And my kids love doing that. Here are a few more dish towels right up front. Oh, what does it say? My dog is my boo. I love that, that's so cute. Oh, and look at this one with the puppies in all the little Halloween costumes. They're adorable. Look at that puppy as a mermaid. That's absolutely hilarious. Oh, and a taco. I love it. Here are some more Halloween themed things. Look at this adorable doggy dressed up as a witch. It's like a straw material. It feels like, I don't know, like dried straw or something. It's really cool. But look how cute he is. Look at his little face. And then they have this little ghost next to it. And then they have these little candy corn, the set of three candy corn. I really do like this candy corn. I think they're really cool. Well, let this be a season of gratitude. I like that. Oh my goodness. Look at this ghost with all the candy corn. It looks like it's like a, a candle holder or it lights up or something. That's really cute. I don't know what it is about ghosts with candy corn, but the colors together are so cute. I think I'm just a sucker for ghosts because I really like this one also. I love the traditional black, white, and um, orange colors. I think it's really cute. Oh my goodness, look, it's Binks from Hocus Pocus. It looks just like Binks. I love it. Oh, and look at this cool little Frankenstein down here. And then there's a Binks with a witch hat. And look at all these fancy skeletons. Look at them, they're in their party dress, ready to party. These two look like they're having the best time. I wanna be friends with them. All right, it's time to check out the fall themed blankets. And the first thing that caught my eye is this adorable ghost blanket. It's got these little fuzzy ghosts on it and look at the colors on that. That's really pretty. And they have this one that has just black bats, black and white. One with just skeleton skulls on it. Oh my goodness, how cute is this blanket? Look at all the candy corn dressed up for Halloween. I absolutely love this. And I love that it's like a fuzzy warm blanket. This would be so cute in my kid's bedroom. Like look, this candy corn is a little vampire bat. There's one that's dressed up as a kitty cat, a ghost, a witch, a bumblebee. What else? I think that might be all of them. I think that's so cute. Oh, and then this one's really cute also. It's got the little kitty cats and pumpkins and skulls and witch hats on it. It's also like one of those fuzzy ones again. This one's kind of cool. I like the fuzzy blankets though. I feel like they're warmer. This one's cool too. This one's another fuzzy one. So if you just want one with like little skulls on it, if that's your vibe, come down to Home Goods. They have it here. This one's cool with the witches on it. It's really hard to show you because they're so big. But it says witching hour on it. It's got bats, it's got witches. So, that one already. I saw that one already. I saw that one already. 
I just think this one's so cute. It's so different. There's even more blankets here. I feel like a lot of them we already saw, but I'm gonna scan through and see if there's any that we haven't seen. Oh, we haven't seen this one. Sorry, let me try to show it to you in a better way. There's like a big bow, but it's got little ghosts and candy corn on it. And it's kind of like this like color on the back. It's pretty cool. Oh, look at this one with the ghost with little rosy pink cheeks. And then here's one with spider webs. And here's the witch one again that we saw already. What the heck is this? I think these are just butterflies. I don't know if they're really Halloween themed ones. Oh, this one's cool with the green and the black. It's got the bones on it, spider webs. All of that. And like I said, I like all of these because they're the big fluffy fuzzy ones. They're my go-to kind of blankets. If I have a blanket, I want to be cozy and I want to be like warm. And these big fluffy comfy ones are my favorite. This one's cute with the jack-o'-lanterns and just the stars. Pretty simple. Have you guys heard of this TikTok blanket that is like going viral? I don't really know what it is. It's like some kind of pink ghost one, I think. I don't really know. Is this it? This one's really cute, but I have no idea. I've heard about it, but I don't think anybody's actually found the one that everybody's looking for. I don't really know, but let me know if you've seen it. This one's cool. They have so many blankets though, gosh. Oh, look at the one with the puppies. I'm a sucker for puppies. I just love dogs in general and animals. So I love that all of the dogs are dressed up in their Halloween costumes. Look how cute they are. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that puppy. She's a little angel. So cute. Last year I bought a Hocus Pocus blanket for Halloween and I love it so much. It's nice and warm. It's one of the soft ones. It's really cozy. And I can't wait to get it back out this year. Speaking of Hocus Pocus, I just found these Hocus Pocus little bath towels. They're like little hand towels. They're hard to see what they look like because they're all wrapped up, but there's Mary. And I wish I could see what it actually looked like, but they're pretty cool for $12.99. But they do have a lot of cute bath towels, like bath hand towels to put in your bathroom. I like, I like these little ghost ones. I think they're cute. Like I said, I feel like I'm a sucker for ghosts this year. Oh, there's one, a Ray Dunn one that says Hocus Pocus on it. Of course, they have all the Ray Dunn ones down here. They see all the different kinds of things. This one's cute. It's got like little donuts on it. I think my kids would like that one. Look at these little ghosts. They're so cute. I feel like I just like these simple like black and orange and white ones. I think they're cute. You know they always have some gems up by the checkout, so here is a look at everything that they have up here. Some cute little things. I love this little ghost pumpkin and trick-or-treat thing. That's really cute. And of course they have some more dish towels. I love these dish towels. I think these are so cute. They would look really cute in my bathroom or in my kitchen, and I just love the pattern on it. I love the black and white check and all the pumpkins. And I also really like this white and black ghost one. Look at this little ghost trick-or-treater. He is adorable. And they have so many cute things up here. So many pumpkins. Look at these little ghosts. They look like they're having the time of their lives. Hello, madame. She looks like she is ready to tell your fortune. So if you need your fortune read, come down to Home Goods. I'm sure she'll help you out. And these little candy jars are really cute also. I love how they have the big mouth open. Easy to put some candy in there. And these Martha Stewart pumpkins are super cute. They light up. I really like them. They're only $12.99. You get four of them. I may have to get these and add them to my collection because why not? They're super cute and really pretty. And they kind of match my decor. Whew! I don't know about you guys, but I'm exhausted. That was really fun. They have a lot of stuff, but I feel like they're going to have so much more because my store was typically still all summer clearance stuff that they're trying to get rid of so i feel like in a few weeks they're gonna have a lot more so this is just gonna be our pre 
like Halloween shop with me from Home Goods. Just like a little sneak peek, but we're gonna be back because we need to come back and see it when it's fully stocked because I swear they're gonna get so much more stuff because they only have like a few end caps, a couple things in like the middle of the aisles and all that, but it was really fun to go see what they did have. And even though it's only July, I feel like they had a quite a bit like of stuff in there already is stocked so i'm really excited to come back and see what other things they will have in the future but for now i hope you guys enjoyed the little halloween sneak peek at home goods i hope it put you in the halloween and fall spirit i feel like i didn't even have that many fall things which i think is funny because fall comes before halloween and i feel like a lot of times they typically have a lot of fall stuff at this point of the year but they were still really stocked with summer stuff and they're it's like all on clearance. So they're obviously trying to get rid of it to make room for fall and Halloween things. So in the next few weeks, we will come back. We'll see everything else that they had. But if you guys like this video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Let me know what thing you like to see the most there. Like what was your thing that you were most excited about? I don't know if I could just pick one thing, but I did buy a couple little things. I did buy that thing for the middle of my table for the dining or for the living room. I'm gonna put a candle, well I'm gonna attempt, attempt is the key word here. Attempt to put a candle in the middle of my dining or my living room table, like my coffee table on that little like mat. Let me get it out, hold on. On this, oh, I just smacked myself in the face. On this little mat thing, I just thought this was so cute. I love the beaded detail on it. And I just thought it was so pretty. So I had to pick that up, it was $10. And I also got those Martha Stewart little candles that we saw at the end, like when you, they get me at the checkout line. I feel like they always get me at the checkout line. So I did end up purchasing those as well, which I'm really excited about because they do match my decor. I think they'll look really cute in my mantle and then like on the shelves and stuff I have in my living room. So, and I feel like at night with them lit up and stuff, I think it will be really pretty. So I'm really excited about those, but they're the only two things I did purchase today. When we come back, I'm sure I will be buying a lot more things. So stay tuned for that. But Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'm glad we got to get back in the swing of things, back to shopping together. I had the best time ever and I hope you guys did too. Thanks for hanging out with me guys today and thanks for being a friend. I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.